Happy New Year, everyone, uh, 2022. Uh, this is Charles with the America's number one dispatcher and freight broker training, the Exodus Logistics Learning Center, which features Dispatcher 101 training for beginners, as well as freight broker 101 training for beginners. If you are on this page, which is the materials kit or the starter kit or the materials training page only, um, you are interested in just purchasing the materials only um, at the price. The price has been changed to uh, from $199 to $99. Um, the purpose of the materials only, and there's no Zoom trainings, no live trainings, no access to the members portal. It is just purchasing the materials because you may already have knowledge of dispatching and things of that nature. You just started a business. You may just need some templates, some materials to kind of give you a kickstart. Workflow of dispatching, uh, the carrier call scripts, the carrier profile template, the dispatcher agreement template, which is some of the things that are that's included. Um, if you read here, that's included in the, uh, the materials kit. So we give you a copy. Uh, we give you a dispatcher agreement uh, template, our version of it, and it's in Word as well as PDF format. We give you our template of a carrier profile, which is in Word format, Word document format, as well as PDF. The reason for Word is because so that you can take our template, edit that to your specifications for your company, and then resave it under your name, and then save it as a different file type to a PDF file type so that you can have a PDF version of it. So you can use the PDF version to send out either via DocuSign or electronically e-signature style or as an attachment to an email to your carriers, okay? We give you carrier call scripts so when you're cold calling some of the things that you may want to say to kind of convince the carrier that, hey, yes, you can be my dispatcher. Um, we show you a copy of what an MC authority letter looks like so that you know what it looks like. We, get, we show you a copy of a certificate of insurance so that you know what it looks like. Same thing for the W-9 and even a notice of assignment or a credit application, assuming that the potential carrier that you're going to get or to dispatch for has what's called a factory company, okay? So the, the copies are for your, for your knowledge so that you know what they look like. So you'll be able to recognize them as a dispatcher, right? And these, are, these copies are what you also want to receive back from the carriers when you receive the completed and filled out dispatcher agreement and profile, okay? So as a dispatcher, you want copies of the carrier's what's called credentials, which is their MC authority letter, their certificate of insurance, their W-9, and their credit application or notice of assignment, because this makes you a better dispatcher when you go book loads for them with the brokers, okay? We also give you workflow of dispatching, the role of a dispatcher. These are just materials that you need to kind of make you a better, well-rounded dispatcher. Um, we show you what a copy of a broker carry agreement, what that looks like, because this is a common document that you're going to be dealing with as a dispatcher when you are trying to set up or what's called onboard your carriers, your owner operators to brokers with whom they are not already set up with. That's a process. We also see show you a copy of the rate confirmation, which is of what's used to officially book the loads. The broker carrier agreement gets your carrier set up with the broker. The rate confirmation that you um, agree to the numbers and sign and send back to the broker, that is what officially books the load. We show you load details cheat sheet. What is this? This is something that some common questions that dispatchers should ask brokers to kind of get more information from them to better serve your carriers because sometimes brokers, either whether they do it intentionally or not, leave information off of load boards when they post loads on the load boards. You want to extract as much information as a dispatcher as you possibly can from the brokers in order to inform your carrier so that they can make a better decision whether or not they can take a particular load, okay? Is it an appointed time? What's the weight? What's the commodity? Things of this nature, okay? And then also in the kit, you get three ebooks, a glossary, and a map of the United States. So all of this is packed into 
the what's called the Dispatch 101 materials kit. Okay, there's no training, there's no access to the members portal because you're not in the ongoing training, you're just purchasing the kit, just the materials. Okay, because you may not need that. But here's a here's a thing though, if you decide that you after getting the kit that you do want some training and that you do want to participate in our ongoing training, you can request a voucher and you can take that $99 that you paid for the starter kit and apply it or subtract it from the cost of the ongoing dispatch and one-on-one -on -one training. You know, we subtracted $99 from the cost. We invoice you the difference plus tax. And now you can have an opportunity to participate in the ongoing training. Okay. So this is the page for just the dispatcher one-on-one -on -one materials kit, $99, okay? You come here, you order the kit, but it also gives you an opportunity to decide if you want to take that $99 and apply it to the ongoing training. And you have an unlimited amount of time to determine whether you want to do that. Because again, just like the seminar trainings, we have a record of your purchase when you purchase the kit. So it doesn't matter when you decide whether you decide to roll over, if you will, or apply the voucher, if you will, to the ongoing training. You have an unlimited amount of time to determine that because we have proof that you've purchased the kit. You know, you pay for it, you put an email, uh, name, things of that nature. Okay. So hopefully that helps with the. Uh, start a kids page, answer some questions, um, and go from there. And this video will be replacing this video here. So, all right. Talk to you guys later. Have a good evening.